Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. Don't mind the way I look. I know I'm looking rough, but it's literally like two o'clock in the morning, but I had to go ahead and film this because my husband and I are leaving in the morning um, to go to Denver, Colorado. It's our 10 year anniversary on Friday and we wanted to take a little trip together. So we're going from Thursday until Sunday and if I didn't film this right now, it wouldn't get filmed until like Monday. And you guys know how Dollar Tree is. When you see good things, you gotta get it out there so you guys can know what to look for or, you know, you, you guys know how Dollar Tree is. So don't mind me if I'm a little, cause it is two o'clock in the morning and I'm sorry, but I got some good things at Dollar Tree and I'm excited to share them. So let's get into it. Also, I filmed a shop with me from this Dollar Tree trip. So that will be going up um, after this video. I will have it scheduled to go up. Uh, I didn't film a little hello and goodbye in that video. So I'm going to film that right after this and say hello and goodbye. But all the rest of it's already done. So stay tuned for the shop with me because I showed things that I didn't get and that were good, but I just didn't need them. But these are the things that I did pick up. I got this wrapping paper that is silver with gold and white little, it's like Reese. Yeah, Reese with bows. I just thought this was really pretty. This wrapping paper right here, I'm obsessed with. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it, but I love the pattern on it. It's so cute. I just love it so much. And I'm sorry if the lighting is all like wonky. I just really wanted to make sure I got this video up and didn't wait all the way until Monday because you guys know you gotta go to get out to Dollar Tree if you see something that you like in this video. The next thing that I got is this snowflake um, wrapping paper and the snowflakes are glittery. And oh, this was only 10 square feet. So this is pretty small. How much is this one? This one is way bigger, the reindeer one. This one's 30 square feet and it's way longer. And then this one right here is 15 square feet. So definitely this reindeer one is the longest, but the other ones can be pretty for just little things. I also picked up this 20 foot garland. It's just a gold garland, uh, like a tinsel with the stars. I thought I would use this in my daughter's room just to add a little a little something, so. Then I also picked up this little Christmas pick. It just has the pine cone and, what is that flower? I don't even know, it doesn't say what flower that is. And the little greenery. I just thought it would be good to use in a little space where you need kind of a little filler. Um, I thought that would be pretty. You guys, I've been looking everywhere for these. So at all my Dollar Trees, I saw people haul these so long ago. I finally found these little candle stands and they're totally, like look at that, it's totally beat up so bad. But I figured for two bucks, I would try and paint them. I think they're made out of clay, um, but I just thought, I really like the size of it and Dollar Tree hardly ever gets in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Dollar Tree hardly ever gets in little candle stands like this, so I figured I just have to get them because these were like the last, well, they had three and the third one was even more beat up. So I got these two, but definitely be on the lookout for these if you hadn't got them before because you might be getting them now. I never even got at any of my Dollar Trees the little reindeer tea lights that they came out with this year. I saw so many people haul them. Never once did I see them in mine. I'm like, oh, what in the world? Why? So you know how Dollar Tree is. Sometimes you don't even get the stuff that you see, but stay on the lookout for these and don't give up hope because I think these are a great buy, especially if you spray paint them or paint them. I picked up this little um, gift box. There's two in here and I don't know if, look how um, like holographic it is. I just thought this would be really pretty um, just to use as decor in my daughter's bedroom and I don't know, I just liked it and I might use it for something else. I don't know, I just, I honestly, I just couldn't pass it up. I have so much stuff in my lap. This is totally, obviously not where I normally film at and the setup is totally different. So I'm gonna use my little office chair as a little place to put my stuff. I found these ornaments. I had not seen them at any of my Dollar Trees, I don't think, until this trip and I 
love them. These are totally like the farmhouse kind of style, which I love mixed with the more glam. So I had to pick these up. There were, th you'll see it in the shop with me. I think there were three. I don't know why I only got two of them, but I did. I got the tree and then I got the deer. They're so dang cute. I actually think I'm going to decorate my outdoor wreath with these, I think. I'm not sure, but I love them and they will definitely get used. And if you love this kind of style, hunt these down. I also picked up this little Merry Christmas ornament. How many is in here? There's five in here. And I thought these would be cute just to add to a little areas. You could put them on the tree as ornaments. I think I was gonna like put them with a little picture frame. Frame. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use them yet. I'm still in the midst of decorating. I My dining room is like halfway decorated. Back here is halfway decorated. I filmed parts of it, but I haven't totally finished it. So I haven't finished filming it, but I will definitely be showing those decorate with me's Next week, I'm going to knock them all out. I'm going to get it all done. But that's just how I am when it comes to decorating for holidays. I like do it in stages. I can't just knock it out in a day or two. Like I have to put it up, think about it. It's just a process for me. So that's, that's what's going on right now. So I'll figure out where to use these for sure. I about died when I saw this jar. It just says Merry Christmas. Oh, are you able to see it? The glare. Well, it says Merry Christmas right there. And I mean, it's a decent sized jar. And I thought I just couldn't pass it up. They also had one that said Merry and Bright. I think I got that one too, but I don't know where it went. So hopefully it's just in my car and it fell out in a bat out of the bag. But I had to get this. I just saw this for the first time. You hear my bulldog? She's back there. She's snoring. You're not hearing things. That's her. <laughs> but I'm definitely excited to put these out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put like candy in one and a little decor thing in another. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use them, but for a buck, for sure, had to get it. I also picked up this little three pack of gift bags. They have so many cute three packs. Um, I had another one somewhere. I'm not sure if I took it out, what I did with it, but there was one that said, we believe, and I'm going to put it in a little frame and I think it's gonna be so cute. And then this one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I just love this one. And then, what is this one? Oh, this one is so cute. It says, like for one night only, Santa Claus coming to town December 25th. I just think that is such an adorable little bag. And then the third bag for this one is so cute. It, it just has little trees. It says cut your own Christmas trees, free hot chocolate. How adorable. To go along with that, I picked up a couple of these little frames. They fit these in there perfectly. They are the little four by six frames. So I did get a white one and I got a silver one. I got some of these last year and when I saw them again this year, I wanted to go ahead and get some because I do think they're really pretty. I don't usually turn them on. I just like the way that they look. They're the white little Christmas trees and they're glittery, but you can pull the little tag out and turn them on. Here, I'll turn one on in case you haven't seen it. And it just, oh, it's gonna be too bright to do that. Can you see that at all? Well, it changes colors. It's just too bright in here. But definitely has, oh my God, so much glitter. Definitely has tons of fallout. But I am collecting Christmas trees of all different shapes and sizes and colors. That's my new thing. I want lots and lots of little trees, not like giant Christmas trees, but like little decorative trees. So I wanted to add a few of these because I have some bigger ones and then I wanted some little bit smaller ones. And since they're white, I thought these would be perfect to add in here and there. The other day I was looking for a um, post-it note kind of pack that was cute and maybe said something cute and I didn't find one so I got some plain ones. This time I found one, this one says, do all things with love. And I thought that was really cute and there's a hundred sheets in it. So I went ahead and grabbed that up. Totally not Christmas related, but I saw this first aid kit. It's just a lot of different bandages in different sizes. And then it has um, some antiseptic white uh, towelettes as well. Um, but I just like that it's a little carrying case. 
and I thought this would be perfect just to throw in a car or a diaper bag or a purse, anything like that. I feel like you can never go wrong with having some band-aids near you, especially if you have kids. I did pick up this other little, this is called the Holly Bouquet. It just has some pine cones on it and a couple little um, gold berries at the top. Again, just kind of a filler piece I'm going to possibly use here or there. I just thought it was pretty good. I, I wasn't in love with it, but for a dollar, I was like, I think I can work with you. I needed some fake snow in my life, so I know a lot of people use Epsom salt, and I might possibly use Epsom salt too, but I wanted to give these a try as well, because I don't need a ton of it, um, I don't think, unless I start doing it. I'm like, I love the way this looks, I want more of it, but I did get it in this, um, the bigger size of the, the little balls, and then the smaller little balls in there so i'm not sure which i'm going to use or maybe kind of mix them together but yes i live in orlando and we never ever get snow i mean we hardly ever even get any cold so at this time of year i have to kind of make it feel like wintry because it never ever feels wintry here Ever. it's crazy okay I just have a couple more things I picked up these wind-up train sets I picked up two of them I saw I think her name is Sarah she has a YouTube channel and I think it's sensational finds I will try and link it if I can remember to do it it's so late I'm gonna be rushed to try and get this together and put out but um, I'm pretty sure it's sensational finds and she's so cute I love watching her videos and she um, got these and did a DIY with them and just spray painted them gold and used them, I think it was gold, maybe silver, but one or the other, and used them as decor in an area of her house for Christmas. And I was like, oh, that is genius. So I grabbed them up when I saw them. I got two because I wanted to see if I could make the circle a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be spray painting these, but I think they'll be so cute. Hers turned out really cute. So I thought that was an awesome idea and I had to share that as well. The last thing I picked up is this little, um, what is this called? A pillar light? Oh, <gasps> no! I didn't even notice. Look, there's no bottom to it. What happened? Well, I'm going to be using this just as decor that you can't turn on. Dang it, man, that sucks. And this was the only silver one too. I wanted two of these, but now I basically have none. They had a gold one, but it was a real yellowy gold. And then they had a red one too. And I liked that one. And then they had a green one, but I really wanted the silver. Dang, 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 dang. It's okay. Maybe next week when I go, they will have silver. Fingers crossed. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoy checking the things that I picked up. Don't forget, I will be putting the shop with me up after that. You can see other things that were in the store. I went through like the stickers and the notebooks and some other like gift bags that weren't Christmas. And um, it was a brand new Dollar Tree that just opened up near me. I wasn't able to talk a ton in it because it was packed. In there I still got to show some things in there that I thought were cool or that I liked so definitely stay tuned for that it will be coming soon again I'm sorry that I look like this and uh, the lighting is off and all that stuff bear with me don't mind this is real Megan now it's like 2 15 in the morning I still have to pack and we have to leave my house at 6 30 I gotta edit this I'm gonna put it up I want to get it up for you guys because you know Dollar Tree Christmas stuff especially it's going fast it's insane how much Christmas stuff is gone I have been looking for the bigger Merry Christmas sign I have one that I love and I wanted to get a couple more and I can't find it anywhere it's insane how all this stuff is already gone crazy so get to your Dollar Tree if you see anything in this you like 
get there ASAP. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. And if you want to see what's going on while I'm in Denver, Colorado for my anniversary, first time ever to Denver, uh, follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Probably I'll do mostly posting on Instagram. But, um, and stories on Instagram, maybe a little bit on Facebook, but I always have those linked down below. So definitely follow me there if you want to see what we do while we are in Denver and some cool things that we check out. So again, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.